Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Dankus Dungeon. My name is Jason, and today we're going to be playing some Commander with some of the newly previewed Fallout cards. So these cards aren't out yet. We went ahead and whipped up some proxies, and let's go ahead and see what everyone put together. Hey, what's up? It's Jason, and today I'm going to be playing Caesar. And like any good leader, I'm gonna be sending wave after wave of expendable troops into my opponents until they kneel to me. Hi guys, it's Nate. Today I'm playing Mr. House from the Fallout series. We'll see if the house always wins, like it should. Hey, I'm Brent, I'm here playing Dr. Madison. Let's get energized. Hey, Matt here, I am playing the wise Mothman. Uh, since we get counters for milling people, we're gonna mill lots of people and maybe combo out too, potentially. Okay, everyone, uh, do we all have two dice in yes. our hands? Okay, so far. let's roll this. I got an eight. I got an eight. 10. Also eight. Brent will go first. Not keeping. Ah, uh, yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna put this back. Good enough. Keeping, second time. Um, yeah, I'll keep this one. Draw. Playing an Arid Mesa for turn. Fetch. Go grab Triome. Ragu. Pass turn. I have a Marsh Flats, and I am going to go find a Triome as well. Zygon? Yeah. Zug Zug Triome. This ends my turn. Play a Battlefield Forge. Triome. 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 I'm going to make a White oh. Mana and Esper Sentinel. Gross. Ouch. Pass. Untap. Command Tower. Land for turn. Since there's Divining Top, paying the one. Pass. Turn Timber Serpentine Wood, taking some damage so that I may cast my Bloom Tender. It's going to tend some blooms. That's it. We'll untap and draw. I'm going to pay two life for Blood Crypt to come in untapped instead of tapped. I'm going to swing on Nathaniel for one. Rude. And I'm going to pay two mana for a Skrelv's Hive. At the beginning of my upkeep, I lose one life and create a 1-1 one, one colorless Phyrexian Might Artifact Creature token with Toxic 1, and this creature can't block. That might get annoying. Go ahead. Uh, at your end turn, I'm going to give you a card. Excuse me? At your end step, I'm going to give you a card. Thank you. Vampiric Tutor, I don't like that. Have upkeep draw, play a Swamp for turn, pay one, play a Soul Ring, paying the one. Talisman. Untap. Draw. Marsh Flats is land for turn. Fetch. Grabbing a hollowed fountain, eh? Yep. Is that gonna come untapped or untapped? Untapped. Ooh, more pain. So I can cast my commander. It's a race to the bottom. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, I get an energy. I can tap, pay one, target creature gets plus one, oh, gains trample and haste until on a turn. Tap, pay three, draw a card. Tap, pay five, return target artifact from my graveyard to the battlefield, tapped. I'll pass the turn. Basic Swamp. Green, black, blue, green again. It's the wise Mothman. 3-3 three, three, flying. When it is a battlefield or attacks, each player gets a rad counter. But whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to X target creatures. Rex is the number of non-lands milled this way. That's it, pass. I'm gonna untap. Here's a mite. As you can see, this one is sleepy. He is summoning sick. Going to my pre-combat main phase, I will activate the rad counter. I do what again? I mill one. You mill cards equal to the number of rad counters you have which is one. I currently have one. Let me yeah. put a dice on there so I know. Yep. It's a non-land permanent. It's a non-land permanent. It is Tevesh Sazat. Because it is not a land card, you lose a red counter and a life. You've milled a non-land card, so the Wise Moth Band will trigger, and I will make it slightly larger. Very nice. Let's go ahead and play a Plains. Go to combat. Nate for one. Ow. Go out of combat. Play a Young Pyromancer. He's a 2-1. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, I create a 1-1 one, one red elemental creature token. Go ahead, Nate. Main phase, red counter. I meld a dark side. Good. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put a plus one plus one counter on the bloom tender. Wow, he's going to be an issue. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Swamp for turn. Three and an additional one. Monologue text. When an opponent casts their second spell each turn, I create a treasure token. And I will pass. I will untap. Let's get rad! Rad. Enlightened Tutor to the bend. You lose a life. And I will put a second counter on the Wise Moth Man. Three. Foundry Inspector. I get an energy. I'll pass. Main one. I wish I had milled that card instead of whatever this is going to be, but I will trigger my rad counters, revealing. Spell Skite, it's gone. I lose a life. Uh, Mothman gets bigger. Land for turn is Dakmore Salvage. Uh, not how it's supposed to be used as a <laughs> land, but here we are. One, two, three, because I have 
three different colors. And a fourth, I'm going to cast Walking Ballista, X is two. Uh, I'm going to shoot Esper Sentinel. Okay. I think I'm attacking Nate because he has the most mana. I guess. <laughs> uh, swing the Wise Moth Man upon you. When it attacks, each player gets a red counter. Red. Red. Red, red dude. I am going to cast Sylvan Library. I make a treasure token. You do make a treasure token. Uh, that's it, pass the turn. I will untap, I will trigger Skrull's Hive, I will lose a life. This might will become not summoning sick and I will create another summoning sick might. Pre-combat main phase, trigger this rad counter, revealing Stroke of Midnight. Uh, that is a non-land card. I will lose a life. I will trigger the Wise Mothman and put a counter onto the Walking Ballista. I'm gonna go ahead and play my land for turn. Prismatic Vista. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it right away. I'm gonna get a Swamp. I will then pay four for my commander, Caesar. Legion's Emperor. Whenever I attack, I may sacrifice another creature. When I do, choose two. I can create two 1-1 one, one red and white soldier creature tokens with haste tapped and attacking. I can draw a card and lose a life, and I can deal damage to an opponent equal to the number of creature tokens I control. So I'm gonna go to combat. Three at Nate. When I do, trigger Caesar. I will sack the might. So I'm making two soldiers. I'm also losing a life and drawing a card. There's two soldiers. They are also swinging at you. So I'll take four. And that's all my mana, so I guess I'll pass the turn. Red counter. Getting rid of a land. That means you get to keep your red counter and you get to mill two next turn. Sick. Three. I'll play Mr. House, President and CEO. When I roll a four higher, create a 3 3 colorless robot artifact creature token. If I roll a six or higher, instead create that token and a treasure token. And then I can pay four mana, tap, roll a six sided dice plus an additional six sided dice for each mana spent from a treasure spent to activate this ability. And then we will play a treasure vault as my land for turn. We will pass the turn. Draw on the stack. I'm gonna spin top. I will draw for turn. I will activate the rad counter, filling a spark double. I will put a counter on the walking ballista. I will cast an ever flowing chalice, an energy counter. Then we will do two, getting another energy. We will cast a cloud key. When a cloud key comes into play, choose artifact, creature, enchantment, instant or sorcery. Spells I play of the chosen type cost one less to cast. I'm gonna choose artifacts. I make a treasure token. You cast your second spell. Pass the turn. Draw off your turn. I'm going to trigger the Sylvan Library. I will pay four life and put this card back on top. My rad counter will trigger and I will reveal Arcane Signet. Lose a life. Mill it. Put a counter on the Wise Mothman. Land for turn is Basic Island. Swing at other people. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm over here. Uh, unlikely. I'm going to go to combat. Sanda, you for seven. Trigger. Everyone gets a rad counter. I'm going to tap a black and I'm going to cast Soul Guide Lantern. And it is a battlefield exile target card from a graveyard. That's pretty sentinel. Second spell, you're welcome. Thanks. I'm going to cast Grist the Hunger Tide. I'm going to plus Grist. I'm going to create a 1 1 black and green insect and then mill a card. And I'm milling Narc Amoeba. When Narc Amoeba is put into your graveyard from the library, you may put it into play. So I'm going to do that. Also, I've milled an online card, so I'm going to put a counter on the Walking Ballista. I'm going to cast Golgari Thug. It's a 1-1. One, one. When it dies, I can put a creature card in my graveyard on top of my library, and it has Dredge 4, so it's not supposed to be in play, but it is anyway. It's two Dredge cards you've put in play. Accurate facts for sad times, and I am going to cast Lockthwain Scorn. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn, and I gain two life. I'm going to kill the Foundry Inspector, and this will be off on an adventure, or I'm going to kill Young Pyromancer. <laughs> just I really just drew this. <laughs> I just don't want you to have tokens. <laughs> I am going to pass the turn. Okay. I need to lose more life yeah. and make a might. Then I will draw a card. It might be bad if you forget. <laughs> rats, rats. Hang on a sec. Rats. <laughs> I'm still in my draw step. Okay. Going to my pre combat main phase. I will activate my rad counter, Trigger. revealing. Yeah. Cliff Hold top on. retreat. You keep it. You keep your rad counter. I'm I just going to swing a might at you, Nate. Trigger. I'm going to sack the might. I'm going to be swinging two soldiers at you. Bounce off of one, take one. Lose another life, draw a card. I'm going to pay two mana for a Talisman of Conviction. It taps for a red or a white or a colorless, but sometimes I lose life. I'm all done, go ahead. At your end step, pay the two treasures and Soul Ring for an unexpected windfall. I'm going to discard a Hordling Ogre. I'm going to draw two cards and make two treasures. Untap, upkeep, draw. 
red. Strip mine and anguish to making. So, you keep so I one. lose one red counter, lose one life. You I'll wonder. put one counter on the walking ballista. Time for stupid cards. Attempted murder of the Mothman. So I'm gonna choose target creature. I'm gonna roll five six-sided dice. For each even result, I put two neg one, neg one counters on it. For each odd result, I make a one, two storm crow. That's sick, bro. <laughs> Gets eight neg one neg one counters. Mm -hmm. And then I make a storm crow. My thing's dead. Yeah. I make two three three colorless robots and I make one more treasure. That was a cool play. Thank you. <laughs> Attempted murder. It was a successful murder. Now we get rid of walking ballista and we're back to a, a fair game. <laughs> Don't worry about walking ballista. He's just hanging out, living his life. That's all I got. I'm gonna kind of just cower in this corner for a while. And step, I'll pay three energy to draw a card. For my draw, I'm gonna spin top. I will draw for turn. Rad counter, I'll mill. Chromatic Orrery. Esper Sentinel. Nice, another one. <laughs> Two mana, Basalt Monolith. Pass the turn. I'm gonna kill Esper Sentinel. Kind of figured. Yeah, I'm going to go draw a step. Trigger Sylvan Library. I'm not going to pay extra. Rad counter. I'm going to mill the card, Memory's Journey. Target player shuffles up to three target cards from the graveyard in their library, flashback green. I'm gonna minus Gris, sacrificing Golgari Thug to kill your commander. Blue, green, black, windfall. Fierce. Wow, Whew. all right. He likes his hand. One, two, three. Reclamation Sage, go about the cloud key. End of your turn. Um, that was a second spell. Play Call the Copper Coats. It has Strive, I'm not doing that. Choose any number of target opponents, create X11 white human soldier creature tokens where X is the number of creatures that opponent controls. I will target that. I got five. I will make five one ones. I'm gonna go to my turn, I'm gonna untap my stuff. I will trigger Skrull's Hive, lose another life. I'll make another Might, trigger the Rad Counter, revealing Deflecting Swat. Goodbye. I will lose a life. Four mana. Mishra, claimed by Gix. Whenever I attack, each opponent loses X life and I gain X life, where X is the number of attacking creatures. When you go to combat, I'm not about to lose all of my life because you swing at other people. I was... <sighs> I'm gonna contraband livestock. I'm gonna exile target creature and then I'm gonna roll a d20. Rolling a d20, getting an 11. You make a 2 2 green board. Oh boy, <laughs> I get to draw more stuff. I roll the dice and got a 4 or higher, so I make a robot and a treasure. <laughs> This is green, don't forget that. I guess I'm done. I'm gonna pay four treasures, and then I'm gonna tap Mr. House, President and CEO. I'm gonna roll a dice, and I'm gonna roll an additional dice for each treasure spent to cast it. So I'm gonna roll five dice. Making a treasure and two more robots. Untap, upkeep, draw, rad counter. Getting rid of a grim hireling, That's losing life. my rad counter, losing a life. Have a colorless floating, tapping, sacking the treasure for a red. Will, Blade of Frontiers. If I would roll one or more dice, I roll that many plus one and ignore the lowest result. When I roll one or more dice, put a plus one, plus one counter on Will, Blade of Frontiers. Use the colorless floating, another colorless, and one for a discerning financer. At the beginning of my upkeep, if an opponent controls more lands than me, I create a treasure token. I can pay two and a white, choose another player. They gain control of a treasure I control, and I draw a card. Go ahead. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck list, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna spin the top again. <coughs> Draw that one. Tormot's Crypt, getting an energy. Nice, more graveyard hate. <laughs> Pay three energy, drawing a card. Paradoxical Outcome. That's your second spell. I return any it. number of target non-land permits you control to their owner's hands. Draw a card for each card return that to your hand this way. One, two, three, four. Finally a land. Uh, Willing Jar, energy. Tormod's Crypt, energy. Everflowing Callus, kicker one, energy. Since he's dividing top, energy. I'm gonna fetch, grabbing a shock, tapped. Uh, no, untapped. I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, and trigger silver. One, two, three, four. 
I'll pay another four. I'm sure I'll live to regret that, or won't live, which is kind of the problem. The wise Mothman. Rad up. I'm going to plus grist. Milling a card, getting an insect. Card I'm milling is Cephalid Illusionist. Trigger the Wise Mothman. I will put a 1-1 one, one counter on Wise Mothman. Land for turn is Balaged Sanctuary. Tapped, face down, sad mode. And then I will cast an Incubation Druid. Yeah, that's your second spell. And uh, that's it. That's the turn. Trigger Skrelv's Hive. I will make another Might. I will activate my Rad counter. It's a Swords to Plowshares. Incubation Druid. I'm going to pay three for a Recruiter of the Guard. When it enters the battlefield, I can search my library for a creature card with toughness two or less. I will search for Dockside Extortionist. I'm immediately going to pay a red and one to try to cast that Dockside. On cast of Dockside, I'm going to sack my two treasures. I have two mana floating. What color? One red, one white. Fifteen. I'm going to use six of these treasures to cast Caesar, Legion's Emperor. He's back. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. Pay four okay. mana, two of it from treasures. So I'm going to roll a dice. I'm going to roll two additional dice from the treasure. And then Will says I'm going to roll another dice and lowest. drop the lowest. Also, I rolled a dice so Will got bigger. Rolling a four, a six, and a three. I make a treasure from the six and I make two more robots. Everything will swing at Brent. I will sack the sleepy one. So I'll make two more soldiers. And then I'm going to deal damage equal to the number of tokens I control to Matt. Cool. Uh, I'll kill two of your human soldiers. Okay. 13 to you? Was that 11 to you? 12. 12. 12. I will pass. Uh, Matt, you have more lands than me. I'm gonna get a treasure token because you have more lands than me. Red counter! Getting a reliquary tower. Jason, I'm gonna swing seven three three rope at you. We're definitely blocking, blocking, blocking. And then there's three more? Or four more? Four more. Four more. I'm going to pay a black and one Orcish Bowmasters. When it enters play, I will amass an orc and also deal one damage to Walking Ballista. If he's targeting this, then I'm going to remove the counter and you've simply killed the Walking Ballista for two mana. Four coming through, that's 12. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I'll play a Delina Wild Mage and I will pass the turn. I'm going to spin the top. My rad counter will reveal a counter spell. Put another counter on Incubation Druid. Land for turn will be an island. We'll spend one mana and we'll spin the top. Aetherworks Marvel, getting another energy. Whenever a permanent you control is put into the graveyard, you may get an energy. Pay six, uh, look at the top six <coughs> cards of your library. You may cast a card from among them without paying its mana cost, put the rest in the bottom of your library in random order. Let's exile all cards from Jason's graveyard. When that happens, I get an energy. I'm gonna tap and pay six. Five, six. Portal to Phyrexia. <laughs> That card's also gross. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone gets to sack three creatures. I'm Damn. just going to clean out these human soldiers so I got one less token out here. <laughs> Two and six on a Rex Age. Damn, <laughs> my robots. <laughs> Pass the turn. I'm going to replace my first draw with a Dredge on my Golgari Thug. Thug. Remember him? He's still here. I'm milling land in tomb. Agatha's Soul Cauldron land. Two non land cards, so I'm going to put a counter on Bloom Tender and a counter on the Moth Man. Sylvan Library as well. Do I want to go risky? We're going to seven. Pre combat main phase, my rad. Linda's Vault to the grave. I lose a life. And I'm going to put a counter on the Bloom Tender. I'm going to minus Grist. Mm -hmm. Sack the Narc Amoeba to kill your commander again. Yeah. Three. Deluge for three. My guys! I got nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I got an energy. And I did purposely put my commander in the graveyard. Seven. Green Sun Zenith, X is six. The moldiest of the Rothas. Oh. I am going to pay two mana to cast Agatha's Soul Cauldron from my graveyard. Uh, you can spend mana as though it's mana of any color to activate abilities of creatures you control. Creatures you control plus one plus one counters on it. Have all activated abilities of all cards exiled with Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Tap. Exile target card from a graveyard. When a creature card is exiled this way, put a one one counter on target creature you control. Cool. You can give them all walking ballista. Sure can. <laughs> Land for turn is Overgrown Tomb tapped because I am... Scared? Scared. Combat, I guess we'll send two... Uh, Jason... Trigger, let's get some rats. I'm gonna spend three mana. These are at what? Uh, they are currently a zero one and a one one. I'll spend five life. Fire Covenant, two here, one here, one here, one here. I will respond. I'm gonna exile Walking Ballista from my graveyard. Puts a counter on a creature at control. I will deal you two, I guess. One from each of these. And then the Mothman takes two. Before my guy dies, I'm gonna hit the four treasures. So I'm gonna roll five dice. Making two three threes. 
Uh, pass turn. I'll untap. I'll lose a life to make a might. Rat up. Oh, he revealing. Can't from the red. Take a lot of damage. Oh, oh, Mothman, Mothman will get a little bit. Leave him. Imperial Recruiter. I'm gonna search for something that hopefully gains life. We're gonna grab Elis Lacor, Sadistic Pilgrim. He has Death Touch. He's a 2 2. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, I gain one life. Whenever another creature I control dies, each opponent loses one life. Sure. Pay two for Elis Lacor. That's your second spell. I get a treasure. Go for Thank it, you. bro. You're welcome. Pay two for Draneth Magistrate. I will gain one life. Uh, that's all I got. Just thoughts and prayers from here on out. Reds. Non land, non land. Nice. I'll put two more counters on. No, I'll put one on each. I am just gonna play this Bloodstain Mire. Pass. I got nothing. On your end step, win a Mystical Tutor. Sure, we'll put Cyclonic Crypt on top. I'm gonna choose to reanimate one Rex Sage. Gonna blow up Agus this cauldron. Response, so I will kill Jason. No fair. <laughs> I guess Rex Sage as well. Sure, why not? Main oh, phase, my oh. rad counter will trigger. Were. An island for turn, fast turn. Trigger Sylvan. Main phase, rad time. It's a non-land. I mean, it's a land. The other one. It's the other thing that it could be. Land for turn is Rejuvenating Springs. Three. I'm going to cast a creature from my graveyard. It's Reclamation Sage. I'm going to target Portal to Phyrexia. I'm going to regenerate it. So I'm going to plus Grist. Milling, CK Restoration, like an insect. We'll put a counter on Muldrotha, why not? Go to combat. Muldrotha, Brent, Mothman, that way. Trigger, get some reds. I like my life total. We'll Cyclonic Rift right now. Okay. I'll respond by cracking the Soul Guide Lantern. Second main! Hey, that thing I bounced. What does that sound? It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna blow that thing up. Let's throw down with the bro down. There's the Sylvan Library. And that's it. Pest turn. And turn so I'm gonna crack a mire. Untap, upkeep. Draw. Red, Red. Land. Ring. Hierarchy. Tax. Land for turn being a marsh Pass. I'm gonna spin top. Be my draw for turn. Rad trigger. Emery. Emery. Fable passage will be land for turn. I'm gonna flop top. Then I'm gonna crack. Planes. Four, five. My commander. One, two. Fellow Archstone. Second spell. Thanks for the treasure. Pass the turn. Trigger Sylvan. Uh, we're gonna put these back like this. Trigger my reds. I'm going to reveal Odawara and Life from the Loam. Loam's gonna put me down to one here and two there, which I don't really like, but that's where we're at. Moldrotha, mm -hmm. the moldy one. Land for turn is Odawara. Since I so conveniently milled it, I'm gonna pay two to cast Agatha's Soul Cauldron from my graveyard. And that will be it. Go ahead. That's your end step. On how to march flats. Grab a sacred foundry. Draw. That's a card. Red. It's a land. Seven. Reckless Endeavor. I'm gonna roll two d12s and choose one result. Deal damage equal to that result to each creature. Then I make a number of treasure tokens equal to the other. First one, getting a five. Second one, getting a one. <laughs> Damn, that ain't getting there. <laughs> oh, no! We'll deal one to everything. Okay. And I'll make five treasures. That was not how I wanted that to go. Me either. Rip. I'm gonna pay four to play Chaos Channeler, and then I'm gonna pay five to play Mr. House President and CEO. My turn? Yep. Draw. No rad counters. We're gonna pay six energy. Look at the top six. Hopefully hit something. Four of these are lands. Oh. I'm gonna cast a soul ring for free. Wow. Nice. Nice. Two, liquid metal torque. Two, three, the salt monolith. End of the turn, <laughs> I'm going to exile my incubation druid and put a counter on Muldrotha. Draw, trigger Sylvan Library. Trigger red counter, it's an exotic orchard. Land for turn is exotic orchard. <laughs> nice. Let's sow some chaos, mostly on myself. Do three, four. The Moth wise Mothman. Mothman. <laughs> so I'll get some reds. Three, Eternal Witness. We're gonna get back in tune. For two mana, I'm gonna cast Cephalid Illusionist. Whenever it becomes a target of spell or ability, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Three, tap. This turn, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and dealt by target creature you control. I'm gonna cast in tune. I'm gonna get Mystic Remora into my graveyard. I'm gonna use my enchantment spell from Muldrotha to cast Mystic Remora. Nice. I'm gonna use my artifact spell from Muldrotha to cast Soul Guide Lantern. When it enters, I'm gonna exile the portal to Phyrexia from your graveyard. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Draw. 
Brad counters. Hitting Deflecting Swat and a land. And deflecting Swat goes to the graveyard. I'm going to put a counter on the moth. Go to combat. Brunt, going to swing a 4-3 Chaos Channeler at you. When it swings, rolling a d20, getting a 10. I make a treasure token, make a robot, exile the top two. I can play them this turn. Land in the land. <laughs> nice. Four? Mm-hmm. Play the mountain for turn. Jane Janison, Chaos Crafter. Haste. I can sacrifice an artifact creature to make two treasures, or you can sacrifice a non-creature artifact to make two 1-1 one -one constructs. Pass there. Rad counter. Negate. Put a counter on an Eternal Witness. Portal type portal. When it enters the battlefield, uh, you may exile an artifact card from your hand. X, put a token of that, copy of that exiled artifact onto the battlefield. Trigger Ram Ram. Not paying. Imprinting Gonthi's Aether Heart. Gonthi's Aether Heart reads, when it or another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, get two energy, pay eight, exile it, take an extra turn after this one. Six. Make Gonthi's Aether Heart token. Enters, you make two energy, right? Yep. Four mana, not paying the one. The one ring. Making it energy. But I'm gonna tap it to draw a card. Yeah, we'll Aether for six. Mystic Forge. Trigger Mystic Rimmer. No, nope. pay one life to exile the top card, because it's land. Since he's dividing down. It's pretty good. I got a Trigger Rimmer though. Yep. Ooh, Ox Opal. Trigger Rimmer. <laughs> oh, jeez. Spin the top. Okay, good. End step. I don't have anything sweet in their graveyard. I'm gonna exile Spellskite and I'll put a counter on Moth Duder. Okay, moment of truth right here. There needs to be one land in the top three, and if there isn't, I am dead immediately. Come back like this. Uh, reveal two rads. It is Urza Saga and Scurry Oak. Down to one. Trigger the Mothman. Oh, when I cast these two, I get two energy for each one of them entering, which would put me up to eight, which would give me the extra turn. You should have six more energy? Yeah, it's my mistake. I'll just take my energy. Uh, what we missed was some ETB triggers off my Gonthi Aether to get two energy each time, so I just got six extra energy into my pool. When I mill Scurry Oak, I'm going to trigger the Wise Mothman. I'm going to put a plus one plus one counter on Cephalid Illusionist. When I target Cephalid Illusionist with a spell or ability, I get to mill three. Milling Delighted Halfling, Deathrite Shaman, Spellseeker. When I mill these three, I'm going to put a one one counter on three different target creatures. One, two, three. I've targeted Cephalid Illusionist. I will mill another three. He has to three lands here for him to fail. Yeah. yeah. There's Anyways, one. So there's three more. Uh, there's three more. Uh, two lands. Two non lands. One, two, three, three, three. It's two. It's two. Three lands. I am going to cast Malevolent Hermit just for fun. And then I'm going to pay two mana to cast Thassa's Oracle from my graveyard. What's your devotion to blue? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many cards are in your deck? I have two. Oh, so that means you win. Yeah. So Matt snatches away a victory from Brent here by milling his entire deck and casting a Thassa's Oracle. Classic. So good job, everyone. Thanks for playing, and thank you all for watching. See you next time.